you make big decisions with your heart and little decisions with your head. You know, you just kind of know it before your head catches up with it. So, Paul Minch's heart is with football. Everyone agrees, even opposing coaches. So when he stepped away from football two years ago, there was something missing. But it just wasn't the same. And a lot of the people that were close to uh, Coach Minch knew eventually he was going get, to get back into the game because, number one, he's so good at it, and two, he's so passionate about, about the game of football. Brown worked with Minch as an assistant coach and learned a great deal from him. He's the second big influence in my, in my life, and he just helped me uh, expand in terms of who I was and how I interacted with people, and, and just gave me a different avenue. After taking two years off, the decision to come back to Fayetteville Manlius was an easy one for Coach Minch. It's one of those things where it hits you that this is what I want to do, and then you try to figure out words to say why you want to come back. That's what happened with me, and, and it's been great to be back, and now we're in the playoffs, and you know that's kind of exciting too. Mint was offered the job at Fayetteville Manlius back in January when Damian Rhodes stepped down because of the stresses of the job. For Minch, it was time. You know, I always thought I'd coach again. I just didn't think I'd be a head coach again. Um, but with this opportunity, and the school kind of needed me to step in a little bit, um, and you know, it's, it's great to be back. And being in the playoffs his first year back. Well, that doesn't hurt either. We expect that here. You know, I think I think every program thinks that. But we, um, you know, we have good players. We have guys who are dedicated. You know, we got some kids who can really play and go at it, and we're looking forward to that challenge on Friday night. That's for sure.